Hi guys, so clip 414 and 415, we're going to do the same one. Um, the tables are very similar in terms of the data and it makes more sense if we do both clips in one go. So 414 is range, 415 is mode. Okay, so in a table like this, this means that there are two people that got one. Okay, and there were no people that got three, there were eight people got two and so on. So we can, if we wanted to, write this out in a big list. So we could say there were two ones, there were eight twos, then there were no threes, there were two fours, there was one five, and there was three sixes. And we could use the list, like you've done before, to find the range and mode and mean and median, okay? But we're gonna do it from the table. So the range means what is the range of the scores? So it's always of this first column, not the frequency, the scores. So what's the range? Well, the biggest number you can have is six. The lowest number is one. Just check that that has the frequency. Actually, they have some numbers there. Well, they have, so that means the range will be six. Biggest number, take away the smallest number, which is five. Mode, well that's the most common. Which one occurs the most? Well that's that one there, so that's two. Okay, question two. So similarly to question one, the range is the difference between the biggest and the lowest. And remember it's again, it's the scores. It's always the first column you're looking for when you're dealing with the range and mode. So what's the range? Well, be careful this time. That hasn't got any. There aren't any. So if we did this list like we did here, you wouldn't have any sixes and you also wouldn't have any ones. So that would be the lowest number. You'd have five twos to start with. Then you'd go through and you'd have loads. You'd have eight fives. So therefore the range is between five and two. So it's five, take away two which is three. Mode means most common. So which one's the most common? So if we're gonna write my list out, which one be most common? Well, in this case, there's two numbers that have got the highest number of them. So if we did our list, we'd have eight fours and eight fives. So you can have two modes. So therefore the mode is four and five. Okay, so question three. This is where it becomes a little bit more difficult. You have what's called grouped tables. So if you notice at the start here, you've got a group of data. So this is for reported accidents. So two to eight, then nine to 12, 13 to 18, and 19 to 24 are the groups. Okay, so ranges, again, follow the same pattern. This one's not got any and then there's 12 here. So the highest number it could have been is 24, so that's the maximum or the highest value. Take away, right, what's the lowest value it could have been? Well, there's nothing in this one, so it's not that group. The lowest it could be was nine. So remember, this case, the seven within that group, you don't know where they are, but it could have been that they were nine. So the seven that would be between nine and 12, the lowest it could be is nine. So therefore the lowest value is nine. So 24, take away nine is 15, that's the range. Mode, which is the most common, where this time you're doing what's called a modal class. That just means which group have got the most in. Okay, so which group's got the most in? Well, we've got, actually got two, we've got those two. 13 to 18 and 19 to 24, because they've both got 12. And then the last question. Again, this is group data, but looks different. So remember these symbols mean inequalities, or are inequalities, sorry. So the four that you could have, and um, you actually see, you'd see two that on these diagrams, because you'd, you'd be seeing that one, and then depending which place you'd put the equal sign, so it could be either there or there. 
So this means there's 14 between 50 and 75. There's 60 between 200 and 250 hours. Okay, so we're going to work out again the range and the modal class. So the range, what's the highest value it could be? Well, there's none in this one, so it can't be that group. So the 60 in this group, that could be the highest value. So 250 is the highest. Remember, range is biggest takeaway, smallest. 250 takeaway. Right, what's the lowest value? There's none in that. Right, there's some in there. It's 14 in that group. That could be the lowest value. Takeaway 50 is 200. That's the range. Modal class, which one has got the highest frequency or the most in it? Well, this one. It's not 60. It's that group has got 60 in it. So the modal class is 200 T 250. Make sure you write it out exactly as it is there so the inequality is in the right place. Just for a refresher, that means that T is greater than 200 or less, sorry, and less than or equal to 250. So it can't be 200, but it can be 250. So it's anything between 200 and 250, but not 200. Okay? So that's the range and modal class.